Hi you guys, welcome back. My name is Liz. So today, I'm super excited about this video. I know you guys love my waist training videos and I try and bring a lot of affordable options to you guys, but today I searched for all of the best waist trainers on Amazon that were under $20. So these are all super affordable options, like crazy affordable. So I'm gonna test them out. We're gonna talk about the quality, sizing, and see if they're worth your money. Um, my all-time favorite waist trainer I will have it linked in the description box below. It's from Amazon. It's probably, I think it's about $25, so super affordable still, and it's just a really good option. So I will have that one linked as the first button that you guys click, but these are all going to be very affordable options, all under $20. I will have them all linked in the description box so you guys can go read reviews, um, go look at different you know pictures and stuff like that, um, and I will let you guys know about sizing as much as I can. So yeah, you guys, so let's hop into the video and I'll show you guys all I got. Okay, you guys, so the first one that I have, this one was like $10. And first things first, it's super stretchy. So I honestly think that this is not going to work well as a waist trainer. Your waist trainer should not stretch like this. This is like a rubber band. This might work really well as shapewear though. If you don't like to wear like shaper panties that kind of cut into your hips and stuff like that, this would work just to help that out. So let me go ahead and put this on. So this first one is obviously not a really good waist trainer, but what I will say is I'm honestly gonna keep this one not to use as a waist trainer for everyday waist training because look you know you shouldn't be able to do this in a waist trainer the boning is not very strong this is super flexible but I think that this would be really great to wear as shapewear like under a dress just to kind of give you that hourglass shape it's super breathable it's stretchy it's comfy but it keeps you compressed and sucked in you know that is typically my problem like when I'm taking pictures and stuff like that like you know I just kind of let my gut out and this does not let you do that so I think I might keep this one. Yep, so again, I got this one in a size large. Um, it does fit just fine. I would probably size down if you're gonna get this because of how stretchy it is. I'm on the last clasp already, and I will have my dimensions linked in the description box below. I bought all of these based on the dimensions they had in their size chart, but overall, I will say you can definitely size down, but this is gonna give you that kind of hourglass shape while you're wearing like a dress or something like that and keep you compressed and sucked in, so I like it. I think I'm actually gonna keep this one. And I like that it's more of a nude color because it's not gonna show underneath clothing or anything like that. So I'm actually not mad at it. And for $10, it's a pretty good option. So yeah. Drinking coffee and trying on waist trainers is not the move, but we must continue. Okay, you guys, so this is the next waist trainer by Slim Kiss. Um, this is in a size extra large, and right off the bat, the material is feeling much better. It's not stretchy. Um, the boning does seem kind of weak, so let me go ahead and try this on and see what's up. Um, it has four clasps. So if you guys don't really know how to waist train, um, the whole objective is to um, retire your waist trainer. <laughs> so, so you'll start probably on the farthest one out and keep moving in every week or two weeks, um, sometimes quicker, honestly, once you get used to wearing it. And then after you hit the last one, that's when you wanna order the size down and then start waist training on the next one and keep decreasing it. And then eventually you'll be wearing a waist trainer that is teeny tiny. Okay, you guys, so I have the next one on. As you guys can tell, I'm at the last class, so honestly, I would recommend sizing down. I am a 31 around my waist, 42 around my hips, and 38 around my chest. Um, so this one is a little bit bigger than what I typically like to wear. Um, I got it in a size extra large. I would recommend sizing down um, based on the size chart. So it fits you nice and snug, but overall, I like this one a lot. It's kind of got that latexy material, but like a very thick one. I haven't had a waist trainer like this before, and I feel like this will help really insulate you and keep you compressed all day. You know, it's giving a really nice silhouette and like hourglass shape to me which yep that's much better than the first one I'm not gonna lie so it has boning in the front boning on the side and boning in the back which is good um, the boning isn't very strong I would say but I also can't hunch over which is a good sign you don't want to be able to like 
fully like crunch over in a waist trainer because that kind of defeats the purpose. The whole point of wearing a waist trainer is to be like lifted, have good posture, it helps with your back, um, and it just keeps you looking itty bitty teeny. So um, that's a big part of waist training. Besides losing inches around your waist, it's also helping with your posture. So when you take this baby off, you're still sitting right because you're, you're just used to it like that, you know? Which also helps you look tinier. <laughs> like posture is a big part of you know just looking skinnier so um, yeah I like this I would just say size down again again this one was 16 which is really affordable and I think it's really high quality I'm not even gonna lie I think this is a really good option as like a beginner friendly waist trainer I would just say size down because you know I'm already on the last clasp I should have gotten a size large and you know been further out or even maybe a size medium so yeah, I would just say size down because it should be a real struggle to get on the first few times, you guys. Like, you should be struggling to get it on the first clasp, not the last one. So, yeah, I like it, though. It's a really good option, a really good affordable option, too. So, I'm a huge fan of this one. I think it makes me look snatched. Okay, you guys, so this next one is by Recreato, and it was $19.99. It does have a little bit more stretch than the last one. I also got this one in a size extra large as well, uh, just based off the size chart again. So let me go ahead and put this baby on, and let's see how the fit is. I like... I like how soft the material is. The material is nice and soft on the inside and outside, but it also does offer a bit more stretch, which, like I said before, you don't want a waist trainer that has a lot of stretch to it. So let's see. Okay, you guys, so I got the next waist trainer on. Again, this one is the most expensive. It's $19.99, so not even expensive. But you guys, one thing I will say is you shouldn't be able to do this with your waist trainer. It shouldn't be able to roll down like this. That's not a good, that's not a good indicator that it's a high quality waist trainer. Um, I will say I love the material. The material is very soft and comfy, but a waist trainer, again, should not be soft and comfy. Um, like, you know, you shouldn't be able to hunch over like I am now so um, I think that this one is probably not the best option so far the one I tried on before um, I can't remember the name um, but I will have them in chronological order so you guys can pick which one you like best and I will have the names of them on the screen as well but um, yeah I would say pass on this one. If you're gonna get a better one, get the one I just showed you before this one because um, even though it's soft, it's also like, it's not a good waist trainer. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real with you guys. Um, you can bend over easily in it, which you shouldn't be able to do. This needs to hold your posture. Um, and the material is just a little too flexible to be proactive like if you're gonna waist train and sit in this baby for eight hours a day you got to have something that's good quality and it's not gonna let you hunch because that's not gonna get you results and also the size chart was kind of messed up on this one if you're gonna order this one I would size down for sure again I'm on the last class I got an extra large and that was just based on the size chart on the listing so yeah I probably would have actually ordered a size medium because again, you want these to be tight as hell the first time you put them on. It should not be easy peasy. It's gonna be a struggle getting on for the first time if your sizing is correct. So um, their size chart is not accurate and I would say um, size down one or two sizes at least. So yep, let me take this off. Overall, not a huge fan of it. This is kind of like a standard crappy waist trainer. Okay, you guys, so this next waist trainer, so far, it looks tiny, which is a good sign. It should look tiny. Um, so this is, might be a little struggle to get on. I hope it is because then we know that their sizing is correct and that it's, you know, actually you can actually order the correct size on the listing. Um, so this one has a zipper. And then it also has a built-in corset, so it's two layers. So, I mean, I personally don't know why they put the zipper layer on because I would just rather just have like a corset style one, but this might, you know, make you a little extra stashed. I don't know, we're gonna try it on. This one was $15.69 when I purchased it. Um, so super affordable again. So let me try and hop into this one. Wait, this is a size small. So I guess this is the correct size. A size small fits a US size 12, which is what I am. So it's gonna be a struggle, y'all. Okay, yeah, I gotta go off camera to do this one. <laughs> you guys, um, I don't think I'm gonna get into this. <laughs> like, this is how much room I have, so. I <sighs> Bruh. 
Bro, it's not happening. I've tried on really small waist trainers before, but this is just a little too much room. So um, I'm gonna have to say don't get this one based on the size chart because you're gonna have to size up. Um, this is super tiny. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I thought I'd maybe be able to get into it, but there's just no way. Um, so, and I would also say that this is not the correct material. This is more like something you would work out in, um, but obviously you would have to size up a size or two or else you can't breathe working out. So, um, like I said, this one is super stretchy, but like also hard to get into. Um, so I would say that when they were creating their size chart, they didn't really take into account real bodies because there is no way I'm getting my butt into this. So this is going to be returned. <laughs> That's all right, you guys. So that was all for my Amazon waist trainer haul under $20. And I'm not going to lie, it was kind of a bust. But that just shows you that you have to spend a little bit more money to get a high quality waist trainer. And like I said, my all time favorite waist trainer that's super affordable, I will have it linked in the description box below. I think it's like $25, $30, but it's so much better than all of these. If you definitely need something under $20, the one I would recommend the most is the second option. Um, I can't remember the exact name. I will have them all in chronological order though because um, that one was a really good quality waist trainer. I think it was nice and sturdy. It fit pretty well. I would say size down on that one for sure. I mean, personally, I think I will be returning the majority of these because honestly, that's the best thing about Amazon is it's no hassle returns. All you have to do is drop it at a UPS or a Kohl's and then you get your money back within like a few hours. It's a really easy, quick refund process or you can mail it in. I just prefer to just hand it off to someone because that seems to be easiest for me. But yeah, if you guys want any more Amazon waist trainer reviews, or shapewear reviews drop them in the comments below and let me know any of your questions you have I'd be happy to help you out um, I can only help you out with kind of like suggestions on sizing so far like you know size up size down but you have to go to the actual listing and look at the size chart to know what your size should be so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this waist trainer haul again if you haven't tried Amazon Prime go ahead and check it out in the description box below I have a 30-day free trial and it's gonna hook you up honestly so Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.